We want to treat this like a whip. And at the last second, we stop the hand and we crack the racket head through contact. Thanks for clicking on the video. My name's Tom Orsop. Today, I'm going to talk about the last link in the kinetic chain when it comes to your serve. And it's this final link, that snap of the wrist, that's going to allow you to hit the ball a lot harder. I'm going to show you how to execute it in this video. There's a few benefits of using a continental grip. One is you can hit more spin. Two is you can pronate through the shot. But the third one is we get to use the racket as an additional link in the kinetic chain. So when you're in this position with a continental grip, with the racket to the inside, you're able to use this extra lever here to snap the racket through. A lot of people, especially if you've got an Eastern grip, will keep everything connected here. So the racket just becomes an extension of the arm. There's actually players who are at a high level who use a continental grip, but they'll stretch so high that again, everything stays connected. So they don't get the additional benefit of the racket being that extra link in the chain and one where it can snap through to generate that racket speed. So if I use my sunscreen as an imaginary tennis racket, notice what happens. If I stop my hand, what happens? This accelerates. So by stopping this end, I get the end to accelerate. Now, this is the same with the racket. If I can come in here and I can stop my hand, I can allow the tip of the racket to move faster. Another way of explaining it is, imagine if my, this, this racket is just traveling through space. If I stop this, this moves faster, right? So where people tend to go wrong with the serve is they drive everything towards the target when really what you have to do is treat this more like a whip. And as you come in here, stop the hand and allow this part of the racket to accelerate through impact. So my swing thought as I start hitting serves is to feel like I stop the hand to allow the racket head to move. But in reality, I'm not gonna be able to actually stop the hand. There's gonna be so much leftover energy and momentum from all of my body that things will continue to move all the way through the rest of the serve. Now, in order for you to snap that racket into contact, crack that, crack that whip, you need to have a very good kinetic chain leading up to contact. But you also need it after contact. Your kinetic chain after contact needs to be just as good as going into contact, but after contact, it works backwards. Your kinetic chain needs to work in reverse. So if you've accelerated into contact, you stop the hand, the racket fires through, the racket's the first thing out, forearm, elbow, shoulders, everything works in reverse. And it's very important you can slow the racket down smoothly because it means you can accelerate faster. It's like if you have good brakes in your car, you can go fast. And if you don't have good brakes, you can't really go fast without losing control. If you have this kind of contact where you're too stretched and then once you've hit the ball, your wrist goes like that, that is a terrible brake system and it will affect how much you can accelerate into contact. So work on the kinetic chain leading up to here, but also feel like you can slow everything down smoothly and nothing is getting pulled. We're not just swinging from the shoulder. Nothing's locked, right? Everything is moving smoothly leading up to contact and then after. So I'm gonna leave you with some practical advice. First thing is you can't swing too fast. If you put in too much effort, things are gonna lock. You're not gonna have your kinetic chain move through the body and into the racket. Inevitably, something's gonna lock and it's not gonna transfer the energy through the rest of the body and into the racket. So you have to stay relaxed and you can't go 100%. The next thing you can do is to train like this. Just feel like you are rotating the racket around the body and you get in this continuous motion. And when you come up to contact, just feel like you snap through, but you keep everything moving because having everything move in that fluid manner is gonna help with your kinetic chain. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was probably challenging for a lot of you to understand. It was pretty challenging to make. And just so you know, this might not be appropriate for everyone. This could make you worse. That's how YouTube works. I can't tailor videos to everyone. However, if you sign up at tpatennis.com, you can send me videos and I will give you personalized, tailored video responses appropriate for you, your game, and your goals.